Now, this is the general legacy, general legacy equation. We have seen in thermal expansion of gases, we have seen three thing. We have seen three. We have seen three laws. We have seen Charles law, and we have seen Boyle's law, and also we have seen Plesha law. Therefore, any of these two. Any of these two laws can be used to derive the general gas equation. Now let us use Boyle's law and Charles law. Boyle's law P1 V1 is equal now to P2 V2. This is Boyle's law. But consider this is a special volume that was obtained after you have changed the pressure. Because now it is P1 V1 is equal now to P2. This is the special volume. This is the special volume that was obtained after you have changed the pressure. The pressure before it was P1. Once you change the pressure, according to Boyle's law, also the volume changes. Now this is the new volume. To the new volume that was obtained after you have changed the what the pressure, but what if now the pressure is kept constant at constant pressure? At constant pressure means what? We said if now you just talking about a constant pressure, you are including about Charles law because Charles law is all about volume and temperature at constant what pressure. That's what we said. Now, but this will be the initial volumes. Then over T1 is equal to the final volume over T2. This according to Charles law. This was according to Boyle's law. But this is the new volume for the Boyle's law. Once now you have taken the pressure as constant, now you include Charles law by taking this as initial volumes. Now from here, let us find the value of the this one that is v naught is equal now to v2 times t1 over t2 now this is a value of this one now this is substituted here because this was the new volume to this one but this was the initial volume to this one now once the temperature is changed so at this one there is a temperature at this one once you change the temperature you find the another volume and according to Charles law at constant pressure volume is that portion to the temperature that is how we obtain this one now by taking this one means you have this one and you have this one now you have to substitute this at this one means the value of v dash is equal now to v2 t1 over t2 now let us substitute this one up, up to this one that is to say if now you have p1 v1 is equal now to p2 this one but we have said v this one is equal now to v2 t1 over t t2 now once we substitute this one at here we have p1 v1 is equal now to p2 then we have the v2 t1 over t2 this one now mathematically once you open up the bracket you have p1 v1 is equal now to p2 v2 and t1 over now t2 now we divide by t1 both sides let us divide by T1 both are then T1 here and here then T1. Mathematically this comes out. Then you remain with P1 V1 over T1 is equal now to P2 V2 over T2. Now this is a general guess equation. It is used to solve the question which includes all the factors that is if now you have pressure you have volume and you have temperature if now both of them are varying we just include this equation so as we may find what is missing because for the Charles law we were just talking only about 
volume and temperature. And for the Boyle's law, we are talking about pressure and volume at constant temperature. And for the pressure law, we were talking about only pressure and temperature at constant volume. So there were factors. One of the factors were kept constant. But here, both of the factors are a vary. Means that uh, there is uh, an increase in pressure. A is an increase or decrease in pressure. A is an increase or decrease in volume. A is an increase or decrease in temperature. So you are including all the factors. And it is where now you use the general guess equation to find out what is missing. So this is all about the general guess equation. Now let us see an example on how we can apply this one.